Hello everyone and welcome to Draugen. Draugen is supposed to be a first-person indie mystery game where I'm going to be playing as that man there, travelling with his ward, to Norway in the 1920s to a place called Gravik to look for his sister. Only I think he's going to uncover an even bigger mystery while he's there. Looks interesting and I'm definitely looking forward to this one. I think for the most part it's going to be a walking simulator, so I, I imagine it might be a little bit like... The Vanishing of Ethan Carter, maybe Lake Ridden, or What Remains of Edith Finch, games like that. So if you enjoyed my playthroughs of those, you might enjoy this. Let me know at the end of the video, okay, if you enjoyed this or not. Let's start a new game. The water's cold. It's a fjord. You're not going swimming. Boo. You're such a wet blanket, teddy bear. You know I don't like it when you call Edward. me- Edward! Edward Charles Harden, Esquire! Will you promise to behave on land? Don't I always? Lissy, promise. Oh, piffle and phonus balonus, teddy. You ought to know better than to ask. Yes, I'll behave. I'll be a proper young lady. I shan't run or climb things or laugh too loud or call anyone old bean. Aside from you. <laughs> Thanks. So that's my ward. So, do you think we'll find your Betty in... And Betty's my sister? Uh, what did you call this village? Gravewick? Ah, I see. So we have choices in the conversation. Gravewick? Grovik. Grovik, okay. Yes, I do. Why here? What's so special about Greywoke? She never said. But knowing my sister, something drew her here. Something mysterious? But how can you know? I just do. In her letter, she wrote but about... that's months ago. She could have gone anywhere. Without writing or telegraphing her editor in New York, she wouldn't do that. Betty's... Ooh, the cat's pajamas, the bee's knees, little Miss Perfect. Alice, <laughs> you're talking about my sister. Fine. I'm sorry. Elizabeth Sadar, we all love her dearly. And Teddy Bear. Edward. We will find her. Betty's fine. Why, we'll see her as soon as we get to shore. She'll shower you with kisses and berate you for coming all this way from Hanover, Massachusetts to the middle of absolutely nowhere Scandinavia way just to chase Norway. her down. Yeah, somehow I doubt that. Everything will be Jake, old fruit. <laughs> They're really going hard on the old timey language, Is aren't they? It? Is that Groove Woke? Uh, Looks so peaceful. Maybe. And beautiful. And so desolate. Like a place built for ghosts. Well, maybe it is. Finally. I don't think I could do this for much longer. Can you row any faster? I'm getting frightfully bored. Do you want to take over? How about you take over, Alice? There you go. <laughs> you slay me, Teddy, old bean. I might. I really might. <laughs> Was that thunder? Still distant. The boat will be in safe harbor by the time the weather arrives. So you say. But I say put your back into it. Because we're sitting ducks out here. Quack, quack. Oh boy. I feel like I'm either going to learn to love her, or learn to really hate her. <laughs> we'll see how it goes, I suppose. It's so quiet. Where is everyone? Probably working. I know it's a foreign concept to you, but that's something normal people do. Hardy har har. <laughs> The Fretland Farm is up the hill somewhere. Up where? Uh, over there, apparently. Follow my finger. <laughs> it's that farmhouse. All the way at the top. Hot dog! Let's ankle! Hold on. Let me read the letter from Mrs. Fretland first. I'll meet and... you up there, old sport. I want to explore. Last one's a skunk's tail. Hmm. Let's let her go. Be careful. The ground's muddy. You could slip and fall. See you in two shakes. Yeah. Maybe more than two. So there's some sort of letter? Right. Dear Mr. Harton, we would like to extend an invitation to visit our home. Trouble to hear of your sister's disappearance. No news to share. You'll find our farm on top of the hill. I hope I got that right. Look forward to seeing you here in October. Yours faithfully, Anna Fretland. Well, I'm here. Where are you? Let's find out. Did you make it to Grovik, Betty? That's my sister then, is it? Why did you pick this 
forlorn hole under the mountains. Lots of questions, lots of mysteries. Let's solve them. Also sprach Zarathustra. Sorry, what? Because of the weather? <laughs> hey, are you coming? I'm almost there. On somewhere. my way. Rice, I yes. Step to it, teddy bear. Where are you, Lissy? I'm up at the farm. Oh, right. Well, I probably want to stick around here then. <laughs> uh, okay, so, yeah. Uh, should we just have a little look around? I think we could. What's this? The Fretland Mining Company. 1897. Yeah, let's just poke around a little bit. I think the game is actually meant to be quite short, really, if you just sort of stick to the story, but... Well, let's see if exploration's rewarded. Let's see if it's maybe a little bit deeper than it, at first it seems. There is supposed to be a run, I think, in this game, but I guess I'm just not up to it at the moment. Maybe I'm exhausted after my rowing. Yeah, I don't know. Right, well... Let's just poke around a little bit, and then... You know, it's only day one. Maybe I'll come back down and day two, three. Well, I don't know how long I'm going to stay here, but I'll come back later and maybe I could properly explore. Oh, then again. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. My Norwegian's not great. Oh, it's locked? Or I don't want to try it for some reason? Looks like a shop, I guess. Uh, got the notice board over here. That's quite a nice feature, actually, just sort of zooming in. 24th of July, 1923, right? Uh, yeah, just odd little words. <laughs> telegraph and something up with the telegraph. Yeah, all right, well, yeah, we'll come back later. What's this? Where are you? I'm by the farmhouse. Well, certainly not Lissy. Is there something on the rock? Oh, right. Me. <laughs> Yeah, I think I'm just exhausted, to be honest. Are you coming? Just taking a break. Hurry up! Storm's getting closer. Yeah, I know. I can tell. All right, that's enough resting. Let's just get to the top of the hill. Let's get to the farmhouse, and then yeah, we'll come back later and we'll properly explore. I think we're going to get very intimate with this area. But yeah, cool opening. Very intrigued with this one. Was that rest again? Rest, okay. Well, yeah, no resting for me. I don't think I need it, do I? It's a pretty good-looking game as well. Not the best, but good, certainly. This is actually one of those games where you can upscale the, uh, the textures and stuff. So even if you're playing this at, like, 720, you could, uh, you could actually have the textures for 4K. Right. Up there somewhere? Is that it? I think so, yeah. Okay. Hmm, yeah, I have a big old feeling that she might get on my nerves quick. <laughs> ah, I don't know. Cool. Cool environment. Yeah. If you're wondering if there's any sort of uh, horror in this game, I honestly don't know. Uh, I mean, the game's called Draugen. After Draugr's and stuff, I assume, right? So, maybe? I mean, wasn't it said that this place looks like it was made for ghosts? I mean, maybe that's not too far off. Ah, oh, there she is. Ragnar Tarnquist, eh? Not Lothbrok? Sure. <laughs> okay. What took you so long? I'm not 17. Nor are you 70. Put some spring into your step, old sport. Did you see the flag? It's at half-mast. Someone died. Right. So this is it, huh? Nice digs. But seriously, where is everyone? Um, inside fishing mountains? Let's see, uh... Maybe inside! Perhaps everyone's indoors. Yeah. The rain's picking up. You first, old bean. Thank you very much. Oh, now I can try it. Fair enough. Hello? Anyone there? Mr. Fretland? 
Mrs. Fretland? Again, I doubt it. This is Edward Charles Harden, the American. We've exchanged letters. Maybe they went on holiday and left the door open. Give it a shake and a rattle. I can't just barge into their home. It's not a crime if you're invited. <laughs> you have half a point, I suppose. Yeah, let's see. I'm coming in. This is... Uh, this is Mr. Harden. Hello? Is anyone home? This house is as empty as a bird's nest in December. If you say so. Hey, you want to check out the upstairs? Uh, no or why? I kind of do, to be perfectly honest. Uh, but no, I'm uneasy about intruding. Certainly not. I'm going to sit down and wait for the Fretlands. Maybe there are extra comfortable chairs upstairs. Well, I didn't want to go upstairs anyway. <laughs> it's creepy. There must be a sitting room on this floor. Let's try this. Maybe this is it. This is the kitchen. Oh. Hello? Anyone there? Uh, I think there was maybe something to the left on the counter, but... Ah, there must be a sitting room on this floor. Okay. Right, yeah, again, maybe I'll come back to that. Through here? Oh, this okay. is nice. Charmingly rustic. The Boston Beaumont would pay a pretty penny for this setup. I thought foreigners lived differently. This is almost like an American home. People are people wherever you go. It's really coming down. How about a quick run in the rain? <laughs> Can't be serious. I think she is. Wet blanket, teddy bear. It's not like you'll get any wetter. Look, family pictures. They must be the. Uh, what did you call them? Fretlands, right? Can I interact with this or not? It's on the oh. tip of my tongue. Yes, that's it. Fretlands. The Fretlands. Right. Anna and. John? Johan. This is honestly not what I'd pictured. They're very presentable. Not at all like turnip farmers. They're not turnip farmers. That must be Johan Fretland, master of the house. What makes you think he's the master of anything? It's 1923, Teddy old boy. Women can vote. Looks pretty nice. Oh, really? Betty might be with the Fretlands, wherever they are. Wouldn't Anna Fretland have written you? She might have. We left Hanover a month ago. It was a wedding, it looks like. Wait, is that... Are they... Johan. It, who's... <laughs> They're all twins. <laughs> all of them. That's Johan and Anna Fretland. There are two of each, Edward. Two of each. They do look very Fred similar. And Margaret. Twins marrying twins. <laughs> <laughs> My mind's reeling. This is just too adorable. May 26th, 1899. <laughs> we'll be celebrating their silver anniversary next year. What we got here? Another letter, it looks Dear like. Mrs. Fretland, I trust this letter finds you and your husband in good health. I wrote to inform them about when I'd be arriving. So where are they? I see. Do they even have calendars? Maybe they don't know what day it is. Despite appearances, God damn. they haven't gone back in time. Yeah. Calendars. Norwegians aren't cave people, I'm very glad to say. Let's see, uh... Let's talk about Betsy. I asked about Elizabeth. Right. And they hadn't seen her? Anna, Mrs. Fretland promised she'd write if she heard anything. There wouldn't be many female reporters from New York and Western Norway. Why would she come here in the first place? Betty always has her reasons. So I was on the SS Bergensfjord before I, you know, got into the rowboat. <laughs> I didn't row the entire way here. Oh, the thought of boarding that infernal ocean liner again. I quite enjoyed it. So much room for exploration and mischief. So many opportunities for seasickness and claustrophobia. Ah, uh, don't be a Debbie Downer. I'm sure your tummy will be better behaved on the return voyage. And you'll be craving enclosed spaces after a week in this wide open wilderness. <laughs> maybe, maybe. Home feels very far away. Are we feeling melancholy again? I've never been this far from Hanover. It's about time we got you out of that dreary old house, teddy bear. Right, okay. Anything else? Gone? The Fretlands. The Fretlands, the Hansons, the Jensens, all of them. I'm sure they'll be back soon. It's like a dead land. It's though its soul has departed. Looks like this has been burnt for some reason. What are you looking at there? A book. Yeah. Strange place for a book. Unless it was a terrible book that deserved a good burning. <laughs> What's the title? The cover's charred. Christmas 1922. To Ruth, from Simon. Hmm. Why would someone burn this? Like I said, maybe it was a terrible book. 
Is Simon one of the Freddy Landers? I don't think so. They only have the one daughter. Oh, that's it. Maybe that's the only page that wasn't completely charred. I thought I was going to flip through some pages, to be perfectly honest with Did you, you but hear okay. Something? No. Huh. Must be the wind under the door. <laughs> or the churning sea. Or the interminable rain. She just can't sit or still, can she? Ghouls waiting to pound the books are all in English. Isn't that a bit odd? Mrs. Fretland is Scottish, though she grew up in Alisund. Have you been secretly communicating with Johann's winsome wife, Edward Dearest? Certainly not. <laughs> she was the one who wrote me, because Mr. Fretland's I English isn't as... I was only joking. Lighten up, old sport. Don't be such a pill. Okay, photograph again. In 1897, the, uh, the mining company. Well, those boys look proud as peacocks. What does it say there? Groovy? Grubin. The mine. Maybe that's where everyone is. Digging for precious jewels in the Stygian Abyss. From what I learned of this place during the brief stay in Olesund, the iron mine shut down 20 years ago. Right. Okay. Frederick and Johann Fretland, founders of the Fretland Brothers Mining Company. They're the spitting image of each other. Twin brothers and business partners. <laughs> and they married twin sisters. Mm. Adorable. Who's the boy? He looks related to the other two. The mine was only in operation until 1902. They must have lost a fortune. An iron mine wouldn't pay itself off in five years. Can we go spelunking? Perhaps we'll find trolls in the abyss, and we can steal their ill-gotten gold. There was a cave-in. It'll be unsafe. Oh, boo. Yeah, all right. What's that? Is that a deer? A deer or a goat? <laughs> One of those. Either way, some wildlife. How nice. Anyway, uh, newspaper clippings down here? Uh, May, July, and... Yeah, well, let's just go in order, shall we? Johan Fretland exits Fretland Brothers Mining Company. So the brothers parted ways? Johan sold his share to focus on farming. Well, that must have put a damper on their relationship. Unfortunately, I can't really read the small print in any of these. Never mind. Tragic accident befalls the Fretland Brothers Mining Company. What happened? The mine collapsed, killing three workers, including Arna Fretland, Frederick and Johann's younger brother. That's awful. How old was he? Uh, 19. He might be the boy in the photograph. Operations were suspended after the accident. Okay, and in September, what happened? Foreign investors out of Frederick Fretland's mining company. Brilliant. Dire financial consequences for Fretland, who must have had a difficult time after his brother Johann Fretland pulled out earlier this year. Johann was smart to exit when he did. The timing is curious, like he knew something was about to go awry. Right, okay. Anything else around here? Over here? What is that? A mirror? I think so. I think it's supposed to be a mirror. Yeah, let's look at it. Can I see myself? Oh, oh, yep. Oof, that's a grim sight, old beam. Gee, why did I bring you along again? <laughs> I don't know if you're going to be helpful or not. But yeah, that's enough of looking at my own face. I'm exhausted and soaked to the bone. Hello. Let's get you to bed. We'll wait for the Fretlands. It's only courteous. Through here. All right, Betty. Have you gone screwy again, Teddy? <laughs> That's not Betty. Her That's. Scarf. I'd know it anywhere. No. It doesn't look like anything to me. It she just bought it looks in like... Bloomingdale's the Christmas before last. When she came home that year, she showed it off, dancing around the sitting room until I got dizzy watching her. I think you're misremembering. She couldn't make it home that year. Again. No. I'm. You're wrong. I'm sure she was there. Hmm. Whatever. It's not like you pay any attention to me when Betty's around. I might just as well be a ghost. So what is this? Right, yeah, let's inspect it. Look, it is her scarf. The very same. It even smells like her perfume. Shalimar. But what if that's She's not... She's here. I'm finally going to find her. That's... That's great, Edward, really. I... I wouldn't want you to get your hopes up. I mean, where's everyone gone to? Something's not right, I'm telling you. Teddy? 
Edward. I'm having a What's headache wrong? or something, a migraine. Lightheaded, that's yeah. all. You're having another spell. You know what happens when you exert yourself. Hmm. Maybe the real mystery is me. Maybe it's not this place. That's an order from your commander. <laughs> Fine. All right. I just need to, to catch my breath. Just for a moment. I want you to lie down. Lie down and close your eyes. It's been a strenuous day. What with the rowing and the dragging of the suitcase up the hill. Well, what if the fret? I'll keep an eye out. I promise. If they come home, I'll wake you. Now, lie down, close your eyes, breathe deeply. Okay. I'm just trying to... So that's why I brought her along. For a little bit of common sense once in a while. Alright, fair enough. Am I going to be woken? Elizabeth? Is that you? Yeah, what's going on with this guy? What's the story between him and his sister? Betty? Lissy? Lissy, are you here? Alice? Nothing. Lissy? Maybe she went upstairs or she's in the kitchen or something? Hello? Hey, who's there? That was like a, a statue of a weeping angel. Elizabeth. Wait. Alice. Okay. Uh, maybe there is a little sprinkling of horror here and there. Lizzie, there's someone outside. It, it might be Betty. Uh, yeah, I, I hear Lizzie. Yeah, I, I, I can't hear her. She might be outside. Who's out there? Hello, Betty. Lizzie. What's this? Okay. Is that a footprint or not a foot? I'm not alone. Maybe you should just get back inside. Hmm. Okay. Betty? No, I don't think it's Betty. I think it might just be the wind, to be honest. Still. <laughs> Okay. I can hear you. <laughs> I sounded like a bird. Alice. No, I don't think it was Alice either. Yeah, he seems like unreasonably sort of panicked, to be honest. I mean, I guess he did just see something at the window, right? Yeah, there you go. It's a bird. Who goes there? Wait. Don't know if that was a bird. Do we rest here? Oh no, we climb. Okay, cool. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Alice, where are you? Still nothing. She must be a long way away. Oh, she's just asleep. That's more likely, isn't it? All right. Someone there? Sounds like it. Yeah. Okay, sure. Alright, so it looks like everything is going to have to be a little event in this game. I'm just going to have to click on things. Don't have too much movement, really, aside from WAS and D and sprinting occasionally. Oh, which I can now do! Oh, there you go! Right, I, yeah, I guess I was just exhausted. I needed a little bit of a rest. Hello? And there's that goat again. Right. Are you out there, Betty? Betty, is that you? No, no, that was, I think, the goat knocking down some rocks. Still, let's have a look. Are you there, Betty? Brilliant. What did you say earlier? Like, wet and slippery? <laughs> you should have listened to your own advice. What are you doing? Oh, damn. Oh, cool. Blurry vision without the glasses. Yeah. Neat. I'm reminded of the mummy. I don't think there's a mummy around here, though. That would be a twist. Elizabeth, are you there? Right. <laughs> well, we'll be heading back to the rowboat soon enough, right? Can you hear me? I think? I don't know. I can hear the water. A lobster pot? That's what I heard. The boat 
Edward. Oh. Where's our boat? Lissy. Where the hell did she come from? Right. It, uh, let's see. Okay, yeah, what happened to the boat? What about the boat? It's gone. Yeah. The boat? What? How? Maybe you didn't secure it properly. I pulled it up. I don't know. I thought I tied it securely, but... Where did you go? Yeah, where did you go? For a walk. It stopped raining. Did you see Betty? Did I see... What are you talking about? I think... Betty... Nah. It was... It really Betty. didn't look like Betty. It was her. It must have been her. Why? I saw her face in the window, and... And she vanished into the dark, towards the sea. You really didn't see anyone. I haven't seen a single soul. Are you sure it was her? And yes. Not... I... I mean, I saw her face and it looked like her. No, it didn't. Well, if it was her, why did she run away? Uh, I don't... I don't know. Uh, it's getting dark. Back to the house. And tomorrow... Tomorrow's another day, Teddy Bear. We'll figure it out. Yeah. Right now, let's get you cleaned up. Look at you. You've got mud all over yourself. <laughs> Brilliant. And then you really need to sleep. You must be exhausted. Come on. Okay. So, we're trapped here. Add that to the mix. Brilliant. Okay. So somebody maybe doesn't want us to leave. And maybe it's Alice. Maybe it's her. Maybe she's doing something she shouldn't be. I don't know. I'm intrigued. Very intrigued indeed. Anyway, yeah. Day two. Uh, it sounds like we're going to be here for about a week. So, maybe I'll do a day or two per video. Well, looks like the weather's cleared up at the very least. Right, so what's up? Yes, let's touch it. I will find you again. Hmm, that thing at the window did not resemble her. Not in any way, shape or form. Well, we got back here anyway. All right. Oh, the new apron pattern. Oh, fantastic. Note this down, everyone. Okay, great. Uh, do I want to look at myself? Yeah, maybe I should, actually. Just to see if I've still got mud on my face. Eh, pretty much the same. All right. Anyway, uh, where's my ward? Lissy? Oh. Come oh, Jesus Christ. It's a beautiful day. Yeah, it looks like it. Um, yeah, okay. I guess I could. There she is. Uh, yeah, go on then. Well, here's the thing. Maybe I should check out the, uh, the kitchen, because I did see something on the left when I had a little peek in there earlier. Okay, now I can actually go in. Right. Yeah, well, okay, yeah, there's a note here. And I think it's in English. And it's half burnt, but... For whatever reason, I cannot pick it up. Maybe later? Anything else around here? It doesn't look like it, does it? Well, again, yeah, let's just maybe go upstairs. Because I don't think the Fretlands are going to be coming back. I mean, maybe they will, but huh, maybe they won't. Okay, got the uh, the Ruth room over there. Oh, here we go. Okay. So what's this? Again, not really sure. The dragon. What? Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's play the waltz if we can, and we can. I think that may have been the little ditty on the menu. Right, right. It's it's a beautiful day outside. I was looking for a chance to explore earlier. Maybe let's go take that chance. Yeah. Again, maybe I'll come back to this later. It's kind of weird. Um, Ruth. Right, yes, let's see. Let's go into Ruth's bedroom. 
Okay. Sure. Ruth, the child. Yes, okay. And it was, uh... T that book was to Ruth from Simon, wasn't it? Is there seriously nothing to examine around here? <laughs> What's that? A book about Draugen, I think. Um, yeah, alright. I'm basically getting the idea that I probably shouldn't be looking around here yet. So, I'll come back later. Let's see what Lissy's doing outside, shall we? i just about given up on you ever waking up. I was looking around the house. Mm. So we're okay with that now? Noted. Apparently so. Sleep well? I dreamed of Betty. She was in the garden. And she called for me. She was standing right here. She must have been really tall. See, dearest. Oh, you know me, old fruit. Wide awake at first light. The Fretlands didn't come home, did they? They did not. There's no sign of anyone. Aside from last night's Mistwalker. I've been thinking about that. Where was the thing? I... Yeah, was it a dream? I don't think it's Betty. Shadow. What? Shadow. It was dark. Maybe I just saw a shadow. Chasing a shadow. That's very unlike you, old boy. Usually you scurry off in the opposite direction. Mm. I didn't get a good look. I'm not even sure there was anyone there. Oh, there must be someone here. And I'm not talking about ghosts. Or goats. What was it you said yesterday? Maybe they're peeking at us through the windows. Yes. I'll take a gander. The Fretlands will be home soon. And Betty's here. I know it. I feel it. If you say so, Teddy Bear. Have you had your noodle juice yet? I'm not rummaging through their cupboards. You'll be a pill without your tea and toast, old bean. We need to get you sorted. I'm not hungry. First point on the agenda. Find the natives. Yes. Hot dog! I'll scout ahead. That's probably we'll for the best. By those houses. Okay. So that's where we'll be searching Come first. Secrets, oh, right. Okay, again, I tried this, but I, I couldn't bring it up. I guess this is my journal, which is J to open, I believe. But, uh, yeah, rather, right. Oh, and here's the copies of all the stuff that we've been reading, I guess. And there's a plain text version. Cool, okay. Well, uh, it's just these two, apparently, at the moment. We need to find some more stuff. Let's see. Should we stick around here or go and follow Lissy and... Investigate the houses down the hill. Let's go down the hill. Let's sort of go back to the boat and sort of start from there, maybe. Maybe I can explore a little bit more on day two. And yes, now I can jog around. Nice. Okay. I was really, really hoping it wasn't going to be that movement speed for the entire week we were going to be staying here. Up here, Teddy. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Such a beautiful day. You could bottle and sell this air in Boston. It's frankly medicinal. If you say so. Uh, yeah. Careful you don't fall. You suck the fun out of everything, old boy. We're mm. far from any doctor. I don't want you to hurt yourself. That's not very likely, is it? No, I don't know. I thought you were scouting ahead. What do you think I'm doing? Vantage point. Like on a pirate ship. I can probably see our house in Hanover from here. Oh, to Jesus. A flat earther. Knocking on doors isn't a scout's job, old bean. Right. Uh, maybe that's not. I don't know. <laughs> I think really the game is going to be propelled by our conversation back and forth. But uh, maybe not this time. Right, yeah, let's have a look at these houses. Yes, knock. Hello? Anyone here? Why, hello, Mr. American. Please come in for a cup of tea. No one home? <laughs> Doesn't look like it, does it? Oh, we can open it, though. Okay. No one locks their doors, apparently. Actually, maybe locks on doors weren't all that common. I, I don't know. Is there a lock down there? There is a lock down there. Okay, yeah. Hmm. Alright, again, don't really want to go in and intrude. What's this? Oh, there's something written on the door. Hello? Who? Who's there? What does that mean? Hmm. Hello? Anyone home? Was it the wind again? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. Nothing in the chamber pot? That's good. But there's no signs of life either. Through here? 
couple of beds. And we do have a note. Right, let's see. September 21st, 1923. Ooh, okay. Thanks for translating. V er desperata. Lissy, found something here. Escalated from words to stones. Blood has been spilled. The curse haunts us all. There is no hope left in... Uh, good sforlata. Good. God. Right. In this godforsaken place. The death of the... Jiminy. Death of the children was the end of Grovik. Whatever remained of our souls departed with them. Hmm. You should see this, Lissy. Yeah, where is she? The letter just trails off. It was never sent. I don't know if someone was dragged away as they were writing it, you know? Yeah, hmm. This is intriguing. It's interesting. I want to keep going with this. Okay, but you're doing handstands outside? Come on, were you listening to anything I just said? Okay, well, let's go out. Hmm, okay. Did you see this door closing? It was just the wind, teddy bear. You're as skittish as a pussycat. There's one more house. Third time's the charm. You want to come with me or you just want to continue doing handstands? She's just going to continue doing handstands. Oh, goodness gracious me. She's not going to be much of a help. Anyone home? Unless they're playing three strikes, you're out. I don't think anyone's been home for a while. No. Someone painted the word traitor on one of the doors. Oh, that's what it is. And there was a letter. It sounded foreboding. Well, you were wrong. The villagers are not indoors. Hmm. The boat. Yeah, it does bother me. Yeah, let's keep exploring. I saw some sheds down by the water. Yeah. There's the general store. The church. In other words, time for some sightseeing? I think so. Well, it's a bright and beautiful day. <laughs> and we have nothing better to do. Well, I don't. You do, apparently. What on earth are you doing? <laughs> Handstands, Teddy. My record is two minutes. I'm working on three. Could you maybe work just on it some other time? Ahead. I'll catch up. Yeah, okay. Right, well, let's just sort of stick to the main path, I suppose. So, we just sort of go down here. Or we could go down there, maybe. Yeah, okay. It's not so slippery this time. <laughs> or maybe it is. I don't know. It's getting a little bit steep. No? I'll be alright. Yeah, I'm alright. So, yeah, this is that... Well, it looks like a shop. How about we don't go back to Hanover and stay here instead? And how would I survive? Hunt, harvest, forage. People have survived here for centuries. All right, that's Simon. I wouldn't even know where to begin. Fretland and Son. How do you figure? It's on the sign above the entrance, and on this photograph, Frederick and Simon Fretland. Hmm. Let's talk about Frederick. The older gentleman is clearly Mr. Fretland's twin brother. Twins are confusing. If this was a dime novel, they'd be switching places at some point to confuse the coppers. <laughs> Damn you, twins! Both married twins as well, so... Hmm, maybe they could all switch and no one would know. Simon Fretland. Frederick's son. And Johann's nephew. See, I'm getting the hang of this. Yeah, me too, I think. Simon. Simon. Th that was the name in the burnt book. So Simon is Ruth's older cousin. I suppose that makes sense, yeah. Right, so, Frederick and Son. Frederick, Fretland, and Son. Maybe General Johann's Store or brother. something similar. <laughs> the Fretlands have their fingers in all the pies, including the only store in town. Also the post office and telegraph. There may be something that'll lead us to Betty in there. Or at least to some canned sardines. We need to get you fed, old bean. Oh, for once, a locked door. <laughs> I can't imagine they have a problem with punks and hoodlums. The sign says they're closed, but I thought maybe... Hello? Are you open? <clears throat> Got the poster now. They had a memorial service for the accident in the mine. 
on July 24th in the village church. For something that happened 20 years ago? It still affected their lives. Ah, I was right, yes. Telegraphing. Okay, the telegraph. The telegraph is out of order. Oh, brilliant. Well, there goes my plan. N-O-S-O-S. -S. Hmm. This was two years ago, but the notice is still up. How can it take two years to get something like that fixed? Nah. They couldn't afford it? Or couldn't get anyone to come fix it? Well, this place really is off the map. Here be dragons. Or dragons, I guess. Yeah, dragons. It's seriously like everyone disappeared all at once. The ferry route is no longer operating. Rats! Mrs. Fretland already informed me in her letter. I know. Still warrants a resounding rats. I wonder why it stopped running. Look around. How many people live here? 20? 30? That can't be enough for a ferry route. Things got quieter after the mine closed down. They need to move on and find something else to put their village on the map. Mm, a tobacco farming, maybe. Right, okay. Uh, yeah, let's just sort of start at the dock, shall we? And then work our way back up the hill, because the boat's missing, and that's quite alarming, really. What's this? Oh. Oh, is that the knot that I used to tie it to the dock? There's no damage to the rope. Right. I don't know what that means. Nobody cut it. I guess the knot could have unraveled on its own. Didn't hmm. you say you used a sailor's knot? I'm a scholar, not a fisherman. So, who took our boat? A ghost? It's a mystery. A stranger in the night. The current. The tide. If not a ghost, then... A goat? The goat's world? I don't know. I honestly don't. I kind of hope they do. Let's say it's a mystery. There must be a logical explanation. It's safe to say no ghost in the night stole our boat. If you say so. But then who were you chasing after last night? A shadow? I don't know. It was probably all in my head. What's this? Draw. Draw. Okay. Uh, we're gonna draw, apparently. <laughs> yeah. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. I mean, it's a beautiful landscape, right? Take all the scenery in. There's a lot going on. I don't know if it's really the best time for it, but... Fair enough. Do I just come out of this when I want? Or oh, right, yeah, it seems so. <laughs> so was I writing in the... Oh, yeah, it looks like I was writing in the journal. Or drawing in it. Okay, yeah. Well, we got something else added here. I guess there's going to be other places we can draw a little bit. Alright, I don't know if that's going to be important or not, but it's neat. Anyway, yeah, no boat on the horizon. I, I don't think we're getting that boat back, to be honest. Betty would have taken plenty of constitutionals here. She loves the outdoors. How so? She's a city girl. I'm sure she gets tired of Manhattan. And when she was little, she loved playing in the garden back in Hanover, especially around the, the pond. Are you alright? I just miss her. Really feels like I'm not getting the full story between their relationship or something, you know? It's just... Hmm... We'll figure it out at some point, I suppose. Anyway, yeah, let's just go back to this. Still nothing to have a look at, no? Okay. At least now I can sort of sprint around and easily check if there is something to inspect or not. Something here. Oh! Well, I don't know if it's our boat, but it's a boat. A boat! Teddy! Hot dog! This is our ticket out of here! How'd you get there? <laughs> uh, there is a bit of a hole in it, though, yeah. Besides, there's a hole in this boat. It'll sink before it gets ten yards from shore. It's curious. The state of the boat. It's like they stopped taking care of them. Seems short-sighted. How would they fish? Or get anywhere at all? They don't need fish where they're going. It's like, honestly, yeah, they disappeared. What's this? Uh, can I have a look at it, or...? Remnants of the mining operation. What? Mine? Remember, I, I, I told you yesterday. There was a mine here, but it closed down 20 years ago. I know, Edward. I was just checking for a sense of humor. It left with the boat. Sorry. Still nowhere to be found. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's a little bit annoying that you can't just inspect the things you want to inspect whenever you want. 
you need to go through certain conversations or it needs to be on a certain day, it looks like. Um, yeah, let's talk about the fact that it's overgrown. I don't understand why they just leave this here. I'm like an altar to adversity. It's creepy. Rustic superstition. Perhaps they believed they'd attract bad luck if they moved it. What did they use this for? Bringing the ore down from the mine before it was loaded onto boats. So, diamonds? Gold? Or just boring old silver? Iron ore. Or what? Rock, which contains iron I know. deposits. I... <laughs> okay, Edward. Yeah, sorry, the sense of humor, as I said, it's gone. Where do these tracks lead? To the mine, where else would they go? I don't know. A castle up in the mountains? Where the frost giants live? Mm, probably not. This is how they receive their monthly offering of meat from the villagers. Goat, I hope. You'd hope. Right. Timina Om. It's a memorial. Three men died when the mine collapsed in 1902. Georg Hattlestad. Niels Framberg. Arna Fretland. See, this is what work in a regular job. Did you say Fretland? I did. The younger brother who was mentioned in the article. Okay. That's all we're going to say about this, it looks like. Right, well, yeah. Um, oh, here we go. He was just 19. How long had he been working in the mine? That's too young for a dirty job like digging into rock. We're in the real world, Lissy. Most teeners don't have the luxury to idle away their days with games and witty repartee. Ouch. Ouch, indeed. The newspaper said the accident forced the mine to shut down. What does any of this have to do with us? I still don't know why Elizabeth came here. And you think it has something to do with this mine? Or with what it did to the village? Maybe. 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 I mean, it's kind of an interesting story. She's a journalist, right? Maybe she's trying to report on it a little bit. Shed some light on the whole situation. Let's follow the tracks. Let's go to the mine, if possible. Uh... If possible. I don't know. <laughs> Let's see. Through here, it looks like. What does that no say? Trespassing for traitors. Cool. Want to jump the gate and explore what's on the other side? Yeah, I do. But apparently I'm trespassing or it's dangerous. Oh. What do you say, old sport? The sign says no trespassing for a reason. Come on. There may be trolls. Or at least more houses. Hmm. Where's your sense of adventure, old sport? Don't you want to see where these tracks go? I definitely do. The old mine, and no, I've had enough adventure on this side of the fence. Oh, come on, Edward! So, they wrote no trespassing for a reason. Teddy bear. It's such a terrible bore, Teddy bear. I'm with you on this one. So we can't. I'll wager a thousand clams. You'll jump this gate at some point. Yeah, probably. Betty's on the other side. <laughs> Maybe. Fretland. Who are these traitors he refers to? What now? We've looked everywhere. Have really we? There doesn't seem to be anyone around. Maybe hmm. we missed something. An important clue. Maybe. How about the general store? We haven't been inside yet. It looked deserted, but worth another look, I guess. Well, okay, yeah. Maybe this time I can actually try and get in? I, I mean, I did loosely shake the handle a little bit, but I don't know. Maybe there's another way. Maybe just bash the door down. <laughs> Down here? Yeah. she just freely following me, or...? I think teleportation might be one of her powers, honestly. Oh, we're gonna... Okay, let's let's draw again. Why not? Maybe there's gonna be something to this. Maybe not. Just a good opportunity to get a nice scenic view of all the, uh, you know, all the landscapes and scenery around here. The game does look pretty good. All right, that's all. That's all the time you get. Let's see. Is it good or not? That's actually not bad for like ten seconds. <laughs> well done. Right. Yeah. Oh, there's a crow trying to get inside. What's going on? Oh yeah. Is the hat? Oh. Lizzie, come here. That's not. Daddy's hat. Yeah. She was from here. the photo. She could still be in there. There's a note too. Betty? Uh Betty. Are you sure, Edward? I mean it's just a hat. Is it even a hat? I'm I know sure my I... sister's hat, Lissy. I have to get inside. 
What right. about the breaking and entering part? I could care less what they call it. No, 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 you couldn't care less. Come on, man. No, there's got to be a way in, right? We don't kick it down. Open the window, there you go. Or not, no. Shit. What about this one? Use the ladder, get on the roof, in through the attic. <laughs> hmm, okay. Well, yeah, something's telling me I really want to get to that hat, so... There's got to be a way in around here somewhere. Ah! The window's open. Here's an open window. You seem eager to break the law. I approve. Hmm. <laughs> Won't budge. Nah, don't be a milk toast. Well, it's stuck. Atta boy, Teddy. You can do this. Do you want to help for once? <sighs> I can't believe I'm actually breaking. Whoops, Daisy. Ooh. Oh, that sounded Teddy. really bad. <laughs> You're such a sap. Can I get up now, or...? <laughs> oh, come on. There we go. Yeah, that sounded really bad, like I cracked my skull on a rock. No blood, I don't think. No, okay, good. Right, let's get in. <laughs> World traveler, cat burglar. A cat burglar would, by definition, enter a building Jeez, on a higher floor. The state of this place. Oh, Betty. Edward. I hope you weren't here when... Is this... blood? Could be. Not necessarily human blood. Well, that's all right then. Isn't murder murder? What does it say? Barn murder? Someone murdered a barn? Possibly. Barn means child. Oh. And murder that's child murder. Edward. Hmm. They murdered a child? Someone thought so. Probably the same someone who vandalized the store. Maybe it was a traitor. I'm not sure how I feel about being in here. Don't be ridiculous. We're all alone. What else do you suggest we do? Oh, come on. Wouldn't the hat be yeah, through there? The hat's in here. Yeah. Calm down, old boy. Anyway, how's the hat going to help us? Not really sure. What else is in here? There could be more clues. All right. Okay. Everything's Jake. We made it into the store. I'm sure we'll find a way through that door. Well, I found a way through this one. At least now we won't have to climb out through the window. Yeah. Breathe in the country air. And then return. Okay, right. Let's see. Smashed bottles? Okay. What's this? Oh, it's that photo again. Oh, it's been torn. Hmm. Intriguing. It's the same photograph as in the farmhouse, Johan's gone. But... At least, I assume he's the one who's been... Snip. Frederick clearly did not want anything to do with his twin brother. Did he think of him as a traitor, by any chance? Go through there. Didn't I see... Oh yeah, there's a clipboard down there I can look at now. Why would Frederick keep a list of what he calls traitors? What did they do to him? It's a kill <sighs> list. Somewhere. Why else keep a shit... L uh, a list of undesirables? Really? Alice? Lissy? No comment on that? I just said a naughty word and you're not going to berate me? Oh my god. Maybe she didn't hear me all that clearly. She's uh, still a little bit concerned with the child murderer thing. Uh, I don't suppose I really want to take any of this, do I? Through here? Locked? Oh no, not this time! Save drift. Oh, this is the telegraph. Oh, this is the thing that's broken, right? Out of right? order. Out of order, right? Been fixed. Perhaps there wasn't much demand for it anymore. Okay. S O S. Indeed. Oh boy. If only this thing worked. We could order a boat to come get us. Or, even better, order some hot grub. These were never sent. How long have they been piling up? I received Mrs. Fretland's letter in June, and they received my letter from July. A couple of months. Perhaps the world forgot about Grovik. 
Maybe, yeah. Okay. To Simon from Ruth again. Right. Yeah, I saw drawings like this in Ruth's room, but I couldn't have a look at them, really. Not like this. Any comment? No? No, okay. What's this? Okay. What are you doing? Looking for keys. I put something. I don't know. <laughs> There's a note. Is it written in Viking runes? Nope. What does it say? I don't know. Read it. Translate it for me, please. I think it's I put something. It's from Simon. Uh. Yai put it means I put. Oh shit! Nurkel is key. I'm learning. Okay, Casa. Casa. I don't know what that word means. He put the key in the casa? Casa. <laughs> I wish I had my dictionary. The note's addressed to his father. It does look so familiar, he actually. He was moved. But where to? Somewhere safer. Or more convenient. Hmm. Can we really trust your translations? You only started studying a month ago. I spent the summer reading. And I had a lot of free time on the ocean voyage. Come on, how much could you possibly pick up in a few months? You know my mind. It's a sponge. Yeah, good so far, right? Oh, that's where I saw it, Casa. So that's what it means. Yeah, okay. Cash register. Yeah, I was wondering if we could maybe steal some money, actually. So <laughs> that's just my criminal You're mind at work. Gangster now, old fruit. Don't worry. If you get busted, I'll come visit you in the big house. All right. Uh, well, here's the key. Wasn't there supposed to be a key? Yeah, it's Here. there. And hopefully, it's going to open that door to the hat. But it's not just the key, right? You want the cash too. No, you want the... Alright, he's he's not gone full-blown criminal yet, I suppose. We'll get him, though. We'll get him. Right, so, yeah, let's try the key on this door. And, uh, hope we find success. There you go. Alright. So, yeah, the hat and the notes. Can I have a look at either of them? Oh, right, yeah. It is her hat. Teddy, uh, I'm not Betty sure was that's... here, and not long ago. Okay, but if that is her hat, what's it doing in a locked storeroom? Mm. Another breadcrumb. That's not an answer. I know for sure she was here. That's what matters. You know best, Edward. So, what now? If this is a breadcrumb, where's the next one? There must be a reason her hat's in this room. Well, you'd think it would be this, right? What's that? A handwritten note. I'm not blind. What does it say, you silly goose? It's hard to read. I'm not sure my translation will be... Johan, you... Nectar. Refuse. You refuse to speak to me, so I write this letter instead. It's from Frederick Fretland to his brother. Uh, Simon did not bloody hell Simon did not murder your Ruth hmm he was fond of his cousin Ruth Ruth is the daughter of Anna and Johan which means the little girl in the photograph at the farmhouse oh Edward the Fretland girl was murdered okay this is simply awful Simon was working at the farm while I tended to the store I would have seen him had he passed on the way up to the cliffs. They thought Simon killed Ruth. His own cousin. Ruth was... What's that word? Playing. Ruth was always playing on the rocks below the church. She must have fallen by accident. The note ends there. Frederick never finished it. And Johann never read it. Not that it would have made a difference. If Johan thought... The mob showed up for Simon, his father would have tried to protect him. September 17th. You would have been here, Betty. Rocks below the church. Isn't the church right above us? Is it? Edward, <laughs> come look at this. What? That's the cliff. Right there. This one? The one in the note? I bet you a million clams. You don't have a million clams. See for yourself. I am. 
No, uh, not really. I am now, though. I guess that could be where. Let's check it out. No, Lissy, wait. Hang on. I think <laughs> I think I can I can hear her going. Oh, there she goes. Off she goes again. Fair enough. Yeah, all right. We're putting some pieces together. So they thought that maybe Simon killed Ruth. It seems that Ruth and Simon got on fairly well together, or at least Ruth liked Simon because well, there's the drawings and there's the book. Which was burnt because presumably they thought that maybe Simon killed her. I found it, Teddy. The cliff. I'm standing right below it. What are you doing? This doesn't concern the us. The little girl died. We're staying in her home, for God's sake. Are you completely without heart? Get yourself up here, Edward Harden. Right Over there. Minute. Right. <laughs> Just trying to figure out how you climbed up. Come on. Ah, it's right, right. Easy climb. If you say so. It's very dangerous. Oh, you're a big boy. Start acting like it. It's not Mount Everest. <laughs> I don't know about this. Whoops, a Daisy. Why do I have this strange feeling that she might not be real as well? Like she's just, uh, I don't know, part of my subconscious brought to life. I, I probably not. She's probably real. What is this? Where little Ruth died. You're being morbid, and this is a distraction. I'm here for Betty, not because some girl Edward, got herself. You insensitive brute. You're like the Tin Woodman, no heart. Uh, please look at me when I'm talking to you. Sorry, I, there's some blood on the rock, but uh, okay, sure, fine. Priorities. Go on. You know, you've grown cold and <laughs> mean in that horrid study of yours. With only books and bugs to keep you company for years and years and years. There are other people in this world, you know. It's not all about you. You're going to do this. If not for Ruth, then for us. We're going to figure out what happened to the poor girl. Together. And perhaps along the way we can find out what happened to Betty as well. We'll probably find more pieces of her clothing. <laughs> right, you're not going to berate me this time? Okay, it's genuinely I think I did see blood here. It looks like blood. There's a stain anyway. We got the rock and flowers, right. That's been here a while. Didn't you say it happened over a month ago? You'd think her family would have replaced it with fresh flowers. Well, they're not around, are they? Is that blood? Oh, yeah. The girl could have hit her head on that rock. What is that? There would have been plenty of blood. Oh, that's awful. I th Something uh... struck this bush. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. When on her way down. That's ghastly, Edward. Should we just keep on going? Let's keep on going. Where are you going? Uh, up the hill. To see where she fell from, I guess? Teddy, where are you going? To the church. Oh, come on. That's where the wedding photo was taken. <sighs> Alright, we'll probably go there on day five or some shit, you know? I've seen all there is to see. I'm going back. You can't leave. We might have missed something important. Well, there's the flowers, the rock. Is that blood? The girl could have hit her yeah. head on that rock. There would have been plenty of blood. There is something there, but I, I can't look at it. I think there's something behind it. Can you move the rock aside? Oh, now I can. Right. I, I guess maybe I interrupted it with the, the damage conversation, so yeah. Whoops. <laughs> and off the rock rolls to claim another victim. Looks like a doll without a head. Yeah. It must be Ruth's. Where's the head? Well, maybe the killer also decapitates dolls. Sinister. Hold on. This pin. This is old. Hmm. Very old. Looks like something from the from the Viking era. Like an arm yeah, ring or something. Vikings. This could be a thousand years old. <laughs> it does not belong in a child's doll. Who cares? Ruth is dead, and you're obsessing about a rusty old pin? Let's go further up. Maybe we'll find more clues. Really? On, Are we? Sport. It's not far. Can you wait just one minute so that I can catch my... <laughs> right, okay. I guess I wasn't really meant to beat her up there. the same path, Betty? Or am I just stumbling through darkness? There's that bloody goat again. Right. Listen. Are you here? 
I'm right here. Right, there you go. You can see clear beyond the edge of the world. Mm, let's not get too close. One oh, teddy bear. <laughs> we need to take you out walking more often. So the girl Do it. Push fell from up here. Was pushed, you mean. Yes. Can you see where she fell? You will. Seeing as you're so concerned about me falling out of trees, I wouldn't want to risk falling off a cliff. You make a good point, but perhaps you're going to get pushed either way. Let's lean over. Right. Um, yeah. If she fell head first on that rock, she'd have died instantly. Edward, honestly. Well, there was that blood stain. This is you learning more. She hit her head and fell into the bush where I found her doll. Happy now, Alice? I'm not. What was she doing up here in the first place? Playing? She was a child. Children play in dangerous places. <laughs> Can there I lean back now? I don't feel safe. Let's find out where this path leads. No, absolutely no. not. <sighs> oh no. Why are you really Time sighing there? Sense. Is it because you actually missed your chance to push her off the edge of the cliff? You're still out there. Alright, let's continue to follow her as best we can. Lissy, slow down. I can't keep up with you. I don't think she really gives a shit. Who knows what's up there? It's not worth the risk of falling and breaking something. There she is. Lissy, are you there? Ah. My word. Uh, look away, Lissy. Is this what Too late for that. the villagers? They killed themselves? It's one body. Let's not jump to conclusions. God uh, something me. This is just ghastly. What made him do this? How long has he been? From the state of the body, perhaps a couple of weeks. It depends on temperature and humidity, of course. What does that say? God forgive me. Oh, Don't forgive, okay. Suicides go to hell? Isn't that what your father said when Stop. your mother drowned Don't. herself? Wow, okay. Sorry. What is with my backstory? Anyway, um, the, the hangman. Who was he? One of the Fretlanders? It's not Johan or Frederick. And he's too old to be Simon. Hmm. Don't know who it is then. Ruth? Do you think this has something <clears throat> to do with Ruth? Maybe she came across the hangman before she died. And it scared her. So she ran no. and... This happened later. You know, there's some consolation in that, I guess. Maybe it's the killer. The guilt ate him up and he offed himself. That's just speculation with no basis in fact. There's nothing more to do here. No. I'm going back. Let the poor soul rest in peace. Does it look like he's resting in peace? He's hanging in peace. You're just no, going to leave really. him hanging? You're an insensitive brute. I'm hmm. here for Betty. This is... It's tragic, but really none of my oh, concern. Betty, Betty, Betty. Always just Betty. You don't care about anyone else. What if that was me up there? Would you care then? All you do is obsess over a scarf and and a hat and ugh. It's all. Look at me when I'm talking to you. Okay, right. Yeah, I I probably wouldn't care actually. <laughs> You're beginning to get on it's my nerves. All I have of Betty. Betty, there she is again. Edward, the hanged man. He's someone. No matter what he did or didn't do, he deserves respect. Would you please just do this one decent deed? If not for me, then for yourself. Or for... For your Betty. Hmm. A little bit of venom there in your voice. Yeah, okay. So I can look away from you. Okay, yeah. Just wanted to make sure, because otherwise you're just you know, you're going to shout at me again. Uh, right, bot the body, yeah. What are you doing? You can't just pull him down by his legs. Right, okay, Try well... loosening the noose. Yeah. I, I can't reach that far. But wait. With this, maybe I can. Yeah, climb up. Uh, did you bring a knife? Or... Well, it's going to be hard to untie with all his weight on it. sick. I can't do this. Yes, you can. Yes, I can. Teddy. Edward. 
I know you can. You've been through much worse. I'd love to know what you mean by that. But okay, this is like a pull and a pull harder kind of thing. Let's try it again. And we don't get to see it. Okay, because you'd have to lift the body up. It's a noose, right? It's just going to get tighter. So, hmm. Yeah, she'd have to grab the legs as I untied him, or I'd have to cut it, or I don't know. Something happened, right? Now we're drinking tea. Where are the Fretlands, Edward? It's been two days. If they're not back tonight... They're not coming back. Perhaps they left after their daughter died. Was murdered, you mean? Isn't that what we think happened? Yeah. Well... Could've been an accident. Penny for your thoughts? I, d I, I don't know yet. Perhaps she fell by accident. So you don't think it was murder? It's difficult to say with any certainty. The boy could have pushed her. You're really not helping. Can we talk about this tomorrow? I'm sorry. You're exhausted. I, I buried a corpse today, Alice. I know. I'm sorry. Why don't you sleep in the guest bedroom? The couch is fine. The Fretlands could still come home. All right. Just don't come crying to me if you wake up with a crick in your neck. I'll be up for a while. If you feel like talking. I don't know. Maybe I do, maybe I don't. But yeah, okay, let's see. Maybe... Maybe this is the point where I should actually start exploring the house and maybe I'll, you know, get a few more things to have a look at. Right, now we can have a look at this? Yeah, let's read this. What did you find? Someone tried to burn this. Just like the book. They didn't do a very good job, did they? It's addressed to Mrs. Fretland. My dearest Anna. It's from her sister, Margaret. Frederick's wife. The, the two brothers married sisters, remember? Yes, and it's adorable. Keep reading. I really shouldn't. Really? How else are we going to figure out what happened? Keep reading. My dearest Anna, I miss you so very, very much. The baby is due soon, and I wish for our family to reunite before... Da, 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 da. It's been seven years since the dreadful incident at the mine. Can we not convince Frederick and Johan to forgive and forget? Uh, I know there are things Frederick has not told me about what they found and why they parted ways. Their grudge is tearing us all apart. Frederick won't even let me speak to half of our neighbors, accusing them of treason. Uh, he's so very angry and full of regrets. It's eating him up. And we... And we what? The rest is unreadable. Burns away. Margaret reached out to her sister. But I guess it didn't work. This was written before Simon was born. But burned recently. Okay. Right, well, if we... If we had a look at that, maybe we can have a look at that book that's upstairs that, well, previously had the X on it. So, yeah. Uh, yeah, upstairs. Right. I don't know if I want to play the waltz again, but this... Ah! Now we can read! Okay. Uh, okay. So we're actually just going to have to do this ourselves. We're not going to read it out aloud for Alice. Um, sure. Well, let's see. I don't know how long this is going to be. So I'll give you this plain text version. And I'll flip through the pages and see what else I'm working with. And maybe I'll read this in between videos. It seems like this day is about to end, so yeah, maybe when we get to day three, that's where I'll cut this. Um, okay, so that's those two pages. Okay, two more. All right, let's read again. Hmm, okay. Is there more? Yeah, looks like there's more. But these might be the last two. Let's see. She has left us. Our dearest Ruth is gone. And that's the last entry on September the 18th, 1923. 
Okay. Yeah, all right. Uh, whoops. <laughs> Let's just back away from this. So, yeah, I'm thinking maybe I should take a look at the other rooms as well. Let's try Ruth's again. I mean, now we know what happened to her, sort of. Still, nothing. As the brother's not getting on, it looks like. Oh, okay, there's some, like, treasure in a cave somewhere. I guess this is during the wedding. Is that Simon and Ruth looking at each other? Or are they all sneering at each other? Yeah, they don't really get along, do they? Yeah, again, I'll, we'll probably come here and we'll probably properly investigate it, just not today. <clears throat> Let's see how big the rest of the place is. That goes out to the balcony, it looks like. Got a couple more rooms. Okay. Uh... Well, one of these has got to be a bedroom, right? Well, this one's unlocked. Okay. Jesus Christ. Well, it's a bedroom. Not quite as luxurious as I was imagining. Maybe this is where Lissy sleeps? If she sleeps? If she's not just a figment of my own fucking imagination because I have a traumatic past, apparently? Yeah, okay. Um... I don't know, should we wrap this day up? Feels like maybe I should. Maybe one last view from the balcony. Yeah. Yeah, this is a pretty good looking game. <laughs> That's strange. Uh, I don't know, maybe things are going to go bump in the night again. Maybe I'll see another shadow. Maybe I'll think it's Betty, even though it really doesn't look like Betty. Yeah, let's go down here. Maybe we should take another look at that mannequin. Uh, there's that. Had a look at those before and those. All right. Okay. Do I still have the hat? Do yeah. Here we go. Play <laughs> place the hat. I'm just gonna dress you up. You're my new sister. What are you doing? Betty will want these back. Uh, I don't think it's healthy. Not now, to please. I'm exhausted. Yeah, I'm exhausted. So what are we going to find next, do you think? Her gloves? Jacket? Maybe that brooch or the pin she's got? Hmm. Right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to go to sleep, I guess. Quite the day, huh? I'm ready to pass out. Where will you sleep? Uh, I'll be up for a while. My mind's simply racing. Don't stay up late. Wake me if you hear the Fretlands arriving. Of course. And I'll keep my eyes open for any ghosts that might want to haunt you in your sleep. There are no... Hush now. Sleep. And there you go, that wraps up another day. So we're on to day three, and I think this is where I'm going to cut this short, and uh, we'll have to start day three in the next video. Thank you very much for watching. I, uh, I'm i kind of into this right now. I want to play detective, and I want to unravel the mystery. And perhaps you guys want to join me in the next part. Hopefully you do. If you do, let me know by liking the video or commenting down below, and maybe I'll see you next time. I'm getting frightfully bored. Do you want to take over? How about you take over, Alice? There you go. <laughs> I'm up at the farm. Oh, right. Well, I probably want to stick around here then. Oh, I see. Do they even have calendars? Maybe they don't know what day it is. <laughs> Oof. That's a grim sight, old bean. Gee. Why did I bring you along again? <laughs> Maybe she went upstairs or she's in the kitchen or something. Hello? Hey, who's there? Okay. I can hear you. I sounded like a bird. Alice. No, I don't think it was Alice either. W A S and D and sprinting occasionally. Oh, which I can now do. Oh, there you go. Right. Teddy, oh. Come oh, Jesus Christ. Up here, Teddy. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> What's this? Oh, there's something written on the door. Hello. It's a bright and beautiful day, <laughs> and we have nothing better to do. Well, I don't. Something here. Oh. Well, I don't know if it's our boat, but it's a boat. A boat! Teddy! Hot dog! This is 
Sure, take it out of here. Imagine you get there. Want to jump the gate and explore what's on the other side? Yeah, I do. But apparently, I'm trespassing, or it's dangerous. Oh. What do you think? That's actually not bad for like ten seconds. <laughs> Whoops, Daisy. Ooh. That sounded really bad. I put something. I don't know. <laughs> uh. Yai put it means I put. Oh shit! Knuckle is key. I'm learning. But it's not just the key, right? You want the cash too? No, you want the. No heart. Please look at me when I'm talking to you. Sorry, I, there's some blood on the rock, but uh, okay, sure, fine. Priorities. Teddy, where are you going? To the church. Oh, come on. Do it. Push. Are you there? Ah. Isn't that what your father said when Stop. your mother drowned Don't. herself? Wow, okay. Sorry. What is with my backstory? Jesus Christ. Do, yeah, here we go. Play, <laughs> place the hats. I'm just gonna dress you up. You're my new sister. What 